Hello, Irongo Talk viewers, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Irongo Talk. I'm your host, Sheldon Johannes, and as per usual, we bring you the latest news and weather and tides. And today we are joined by um, J.R. Raymond Cupido, um, the winner of Voice of Namibia competition, who shares his experience as well as his music journey with us. So please make sure to stay tuned. Now for our first news story, the governor of the Irongo region, Neville Andre, officially launched the Irongo regional profile at Swakopmund on Thursday. The, la the, la the launch was attended by senior officials of the regional council and the businesses of the community. Andre said that profiling the region provides an overview of the socio-economic landscape and, inform and informic contained in the report helps the strategic development initiatives and uh, evaluate the desire of investment. This profile draws the attention of the potential domestic and foreign investors, uh, residents and tourists to the ultimate opportunities that our region can offer. The Irongo region is the gateway to the rest of Namibia and, sir, and, 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 and services. I'm sorry. The world having an international airport, a well managed and world class port, and with a road infrastructure directly linked to southern African regions and the continent, Neville Andre said. And now for our second news story. The Namibian Canoe and Rowing Federation, NCRF, an affiliate of the Namibian Sports Commission and the Namibian National Olympic Committee, is uh, in conjunction with the Commonwealth Rowing Association, CRA, host Namibia's first CRA Beach Sprint Championship from the 2nd to the 4th December at the Independence Beach in Valdez Bay. Now, competing at, now um, competing at a Commonwealth event is truly unique. Uh, a, unique opportunity for both rowers and coaches wishing to represent their nation at uh, the highest possible level. According to NCRF's General Secretary Theo Giza, the Federation's main objective is to promote the sport of canoeing and rowing in Namibia and to expose local athletes to the international world of sports. Um, he says that the aim of, for hosting the championship is to bring Commonwealth rowing events to, to Africa. The other reason is to leave a legacy, a legacy that will bring local uh, coastal rowing equipment, event hosting, management expertise, sport and athlete development from training camps as well as coaching and um, umpiring. Um, education before the actual event. We also hope to identify a strong Namib Namibian team for the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. And now for our third and final story, the, the Athletics Development Clubs will host its Athletics Week in conjunction with the Pukavits Foundation from the 12th to the 15th December at the Vineta Stadium in Swakopmund. The Vice President and Co-Founder of the Athletics Development Club, Jacqueline Louise Snyder, said the event will consist of a two-day training camp with eight of South Africa's top coaches in different disciplines. Uh, she said that we will also have an official course running at the same time, as well as a sports photography workshop with, photo with photographer um, Roger Cedres from South Africa, who is the 2021 International Associ Association of Athletics Federation IAAF SA Sport Photograph Award winner. Now, after the two-day training camp, uh, the final leg of the Pupkovitz Athletics Championships for 2022 will be hosted over two days. 
Uh, she said on the 14th December we will have athlete, athletes from age of 6 to 12 and on the 15th December we'll have athletes from um, from ages from 13 to senior with a para athlete com with para athletes competing as well Snyder explained that the athletics development club intends to identify train and allow athletes to develop their skills and compete in Namibia now, um, viewers, if you guys want to read more on these stories, please make sure to visit our website. That's at www.irongo.com.na. And then now for another break. Stay tuned. We are joined by quite an extraordinary artist and the current Voice of Namibia champion, uh, J.R. Kibiru. How are you, man? I'm doing fine. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, uh, welcome to our studio here at uh, Plaza Mir. It's the first time we're having you on a show. Yeah, it's the first time and I'm honored to be here. Uh -huh. Welcome, brother. So, so tell me, man, how does it feel to win uh, Voice of Namibia? Man, uh, I, feel, I feel overwhelmed. I mm -hmm. still can't believe it, um, but I feel overwhelmed and the joy is just, it's refreshing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah, yeah. So, so tell us about the competition then. The competition was very tough. Uh, I must say uh, there was a lot of awesome talent, uh, people to be specific, and it was an honor to be in the presence of so much artists. So mm -hmm. I experienced a lot and I've learned from each and every one a little bit. So I must say, it was, it was a very nice journey coming from the first competition of yes. Canal Siva and yes. now this, it's, it's been a very nice journey. Any, any outstanding artists you had rubbed shoulders with uh, during this uh, competition? If I have to say, it must be my brother. Serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We was he also into, in, yeah, in the he, competition? He How into, did he do? He, he made the top 10, but unfortunately, yeah, uh -huh, he, uh -huh. didn't, he didn't push through, but I must say he improved a lot as well. Great, great stuff. So you finished as a runner-up at the previous uh, competition. Uh, did this motivate you to have another go? Um, to be honest, I didn't want to enter mm. the, the year after that because mm. of the expense of traveling and everything. But yes. then the, the, the winner of 2021, she motivated me and told me like, wow. I finished second the year before this, so why don't you just give this another go? Yes. And I was like, okay, let's try to rewrite the story. Mm. <laughs> and, mm. I, and I entered and... It was, it was, it was amazing. It. To, yeah, it yes. was, it was yes. very worth it. So, so, so what did you win and, and what plans do you have? Um, besides the cash prize. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I won a nice trip uh, a, a weekend away and then another voucher. So just to put it out there, I must say thank you to the sponsors. I really yes. appreciate each and every yes. piece of um, gift that I received. And yes. uh, going forward, uh, I'm going to be the ambassador of this Voice of Namibia brand now. So. Yes. I'll be very busy. You'll see me a lot probably here. Um, I like to return again. Mm. Um, but beside that, music-wise, um, I'm currently working on a new single, um, talking about my journey and what I've experienced along the way in this competition. Okay. Yes. Okay. That sounds great, man. So, so where did this musical journey start for you? This musical journey started back in 2010. Wow. Um, started singing in church. Obviously, mm. we all start in church, and, mm. and it's great just to find your feet, and, and the foundation is very solid when you start yes. in church. Yes, so yes. I must say I'll, I'll, I'll always um, be thankful for the people that gave me the platform to, to just be myself. And uh, yeah, the church is where it started, and I really appreciate them. Good stuff. So, so, so what inspires, or who inspires Jaya? Um, to be honest, uh, I must say my mother, <laughs> she's a very hard working woman mm. um, and it just motivates me to work hard as well. I think you were allowed to send a shout out. When? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hello, mommy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so your mother is the driving force. Yeah, yeah, she uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. so, so, man, uh, what advice would you offer to upcoming musicians? This business is very tough. Um, it's very tough. Um, 
the only way you you can succeed or at least have yourself on the map is if you be if you be consistent. Yes. Consistency is consistency is the key to success in this yes. business. Yes. Okay. So 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 tell me, man, if there's anything you could change in this industry, what would it be? This industry is it's not it's not the best, but but we're doing okay. Mm -hmm. The only thing missing is we still haven't found our our own sound. So we just adapt to whatever's new in the trend. So if, if there's something we could we could establish as Namibians, yes. a type of sound, it would be very it would be very amazing. Something original. Original, yes. 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 Okay. So so so, let's build on that question. So, uh, on that particular question, what do you think needs to be done to push Namibia, uh, Namibian music up to the next level? I think if we can get um, collaborations with the big artists. Um, if they could just, for instance, just take one of the upcoming artists and just yes. let their fresh ideas, um, I, I, can I say, um, be like an inspiration? Infuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infuse because ideas, fresh, yeah. fresh ideas are always, are always good. Um, mm -hmm. If they can just use, for instance, a few upcoming artists, I think we'll find something new. Okay. Uh, Jayar, thank you so much for, for coming into your studio uh, and uh, talking to us and our, our viewers out there. But uh, before I let you go, I need to put 10 quick questions to you. Are you ready for this? I'm ready, yes. R&B or hip hop? R&B. Chicken or fish? Chicken. Movies or series? Movies. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Wolfers or Vanduk? Wolfers. Black or white? Black. Soccer or rugby? Soccer. Which team? Man United. <laughs> okay, that wasn't part of the script, but anyway. <laughs> Family or friends? Family. 4x4 four four or sedan? 4x4. Four four. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Money or fame? Most definitely money. <laughs> <laughs> then it has been a pleasure having you here yeah. on our show and uh, I know you will be back. Thank you very much Stay for having blessed, me. Brother. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cool. Namibian Sun's entertainment supplement. The publication covers music profiles, fashion profiles, music reviews, as well as lifestyle stories. 
Moreover, the brand also covers music concerts, festivals, and comedy shows. The physical content is complemented with an online music video countdown show, Chill Sessions, that airs on Namibian Sun's Facebook page at 7 p.m. on Fridays. Sport Wrap is a weekly English print edition which unpacks the latest on local and international sports news. Printed on Mondays in the Republican, Namibian Sun, and Algemeine Zeitung. The Sport Wrap edition publishes news from all sport codes as well as profiles of local and international sports stars. Unfortunately, we come to the end of another exciting episode, um, Mirongo Talk viewers. Um, now, you guys can check out our stories on our website. That's at www.irongo.com.na. Alternatively, you can, um, you can send us um, your stories or news tips. That will be on w um, at newstips.irongo.com.na. Or you can send us a telegram or a WhatsApp on 08117040. Um, alternatively, you can watch our our programs on our online platform that's um, on oneup2.com um, live or you can join us on DSTV channel 285 or GoTV channel 94. Now um, that's all from me your host Sheldon Johannes. Until next time I say bye. Chill Sessions is an entertainment show that brings you the latest hit, fashion and entertainment news. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact chill at synergy.com.na. Chill Sessions, bringing art and entertainment to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, live at the Tourism Expo 2020! The man, the man that has that given has Namibia given music soul, soul from the very beginning is not small, is not medium. Let's get ready for Big Ben! After such an introduction, <laughs> and then there was silence. <laughs> yeah. 
So for those who know the songs, please sing along and teach those who don't know the songs. And those who don't know the songs, learn them. You only have a few minutes, about 60 minutes. While we're waiting for the music to come back, let me help you. There you go. Together. 